Pisces. This will happen in the next 48 hours for July the 9th through July the 10th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for July the 9th through July the 10th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for July the 9th through July the 10th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for July the 9th through July the 10th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Pisces, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Pisces, these are your cards, honey. So, Pisces, you have the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' as a relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now, this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So, Pisces, very well could be a shocking surprise, shocking revelation, something being revealed, or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Pisces. Clarify the tower for Pisces. Clarify the tower for Pisces. The tower's at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Pisces, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Pisces. Pisces, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the... Girl, again, again, what is this? Clarify the tower for Pisces. Clarify the tower for Pisces. Clarify the tower for Pisces. It is clarified with the moon. This is you, Pisces. But the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Pisces, this is you. Clarify the moon for Pisces. Clarify the moon for Pisces. What about Pisces? What about Pisces? Clarify the moon for Pisces. It is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Pisces could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Pisces. Clarify justice 
for Pisces. Clarify justice for Pisces. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries. But the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey. To do a brand new thing, sight unseen. Just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. Could be dealing with an Aries. But you can tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' this relationship. Clarify the fool for Pisces. Clarify the fool. For Pisces. Clarify the fool. For Pisces. It is clarified with the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional. Believes in the institution of marriage and family. Someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles. For Pisces. Clarify the King of Pentacles. For Pisces. Clarify the King of Pentacles. For Pisces. Pisces, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear that the offer will be rejected. So Pisces, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Now, Pisces, listen, you could be shocked here, Pisces, that there's an offer coming in. could be with work or business, but you feel like something isn't fair, balance, or just with this offer. I don't know if someone is taking a risk or a chance with practicality or something. Because it's causing some type of shakeup and a confrontation here. And you're deciding you don't want this offer. Pisces could also be that someone wants to take this leap of faith and go to the justice of the peace here. To have this stability or commitment. And again, you may be shocked that they're even asking. Because it could be surrounding some type of secret or some type of shocking shakeup. And you're thinking about missing this offer. You have justice again. Like I said, it could be dealing with a Libra. But you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair. Something isn't balanced. Something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Pisces. Clarify justice for Pisces. Clarify justice for Pisces. It is clarified with the seven of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So Pisces, you can tell me that you're standoff and shunning and setting boundaries with this person or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse or defense here. Now, Pisces, you can tell me that you're standoff and shunning and setting boundaries because something wasn't fair, balanced or just. But I want to know if they want you to go to the justice of the peace here. And you're like, mm -mm, no, you don't even want this offer. You have the Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. 
This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now you could be reminiscing on someone from your past. Remembering someone from your past. But something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So listen, Pisces, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here. Or this involves children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Six of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Six of Cups for Pisces. It is clarified with the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now, you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching, or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit. For Pisces, clarify the hermit. For Pisces, clarify the hermit. For Pisces, it is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy, you want to be happy, you're over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Pisces. Clarify the sun for Pisces. Clarify the sun for Pisces. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Pisces, listen, someone very well may have commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now, Pisces, you can tell me that you're thinking long and hard about reuniting with this person, getting back with this person. You want to be happy and go into a commitment, a relationship and have it all, you know, maybe even restore you guys' relationship. However, Pisces, you can tell me that you're thinking long and hard about something being illuminated, something coming to light, possibly about children, about something that happened in the past that is being brought back up here, or the fact that someone from their past was in the picture that may be causing an ending here. Hmm. Pisces. You have the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the water element, the earth element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Pisces. Clarify the magician for Pisces. Clarify the magician for Pisces. It is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Pisces, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. For Pisces, it is clarified with the four of wands. 
Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So Pisces, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Pisces, did you put the brakes on going to the justice of the peace here or going into commitment here? Because we could have been primed to take this leap of faith to go to the justice of the peace. But now you're like, no, because there's been some type of shocking shakeup, a shocking revelation, a confrontation here. And you're like, heck no, I won't go. This is something that happened in the past that was brought back up here? Or someone from their past is in the picture? Or you're telling me with you guys' it's already established commitment, you're going stagnant with this person. Pisces, you have the hermit again. Like I said, it could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Pisces. Clarify the hermit for Pisces. Clarify the hermit for Pisces. It is clarified with the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. Could be dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Virgo. I'm a Pisces, really. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Pisces. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Pisces. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Pisces. It is clarified with you, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, the Queen of Cups. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So, Pisces, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Pisces. What about Pisces? What about Pisces? Clarify the Queen of Cups for Pisces. It is clarified with the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or a message of it. So listen, Pisces, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the page of pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the page of pentacles for Pisces. Pisces, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry, and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third-party situation going on. So, Pisces, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting, or there's a third party. You know, Pisces... When it comes to this news about commitment here, you can tell me that you're thinking long and hard about whether or not you want to have just cause to celebrate with this person. 
And Pisces, you could also tell me because something came up because I feel like you guys were primed to level up, move in together, you know, get a mortgage together, get an apartment together, get married, get engaged, something. But something happened. And it could have been some type of secret that came out to make you change your mind from taking this leap of faith to go to this justice of the peace here. And it very well could be that there was a third party involved. You're going to have to tell me. I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames Exposed for you and your partner, Pisces. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says addict. Someone's an addict. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Pisces. And it says, you came closer than anyone. Did someone, did you put the brakes on going into this relationship or commitment here? Pisces, this will happen in the next 48 hours for July the 9th through July the 10th, 2024. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.